We see the sun going down as we see Lincoln and Zack walking through the woods. And Zack says, you think they're alive? Lincoln says, I hope so. They gotta be. We've been losing too many people lately. I just want it to stop. Zack says, I'm sorry to tell you, Mr. West. I don't think the killing ever stops. No matter what you do, you're always a monster. Lincoln says, well, I'd like to believe that there is good people out there somehow. Zack says, maybe. Lincoln starts walking ahead and says, you know, my brother used to say that to me. What you just said? No matter who you are, or whatever you've done in this world to survive, as long as you have, no one's a saint. Everyone that's alive right now is a monster. At first, I didn't believe him. But I think I'm starting to understand what he was talking about. Although maybe he was wrong. I don't know. What would you say? He doesn't hear a response, and he turns around. But then, Zack's gone. Lincoln says, Zack? He walks through the woods very slowly and says, Zack. He sees a house in the distance, and he starts walking towards it. And Lincoln slowly enters the house as he whispers, Zack. Zack? You in here? We hear the creaking floor as Lincoln is calling out for Zack. And he walks out into the backyard where he smells something really bad. And as he starts walking up, he sees two dead bodies in the back laying there dead. And Lincoln says, Tony? Joe? As we reveal, it's the other two patrols who have been killed. And Lincoln looks upset by seeing this happen. As we hear someone walk up behind him, we see Lincoln turns around as Zack knocks him out. Lincoln wakes up against a tree with his hands tied as he is seeing a blurry vision. We see Zack killing deadheads like they're nothing, confirming he was faking it the whole time. Lincoln is still in and out of it, but Zack walks up to him and says, You waking up? Ah, uh, there you are again. Sorry about the rope, but we've been told you are quite a loose cannon these days. Lincoln looks angry and says, Who told you that? Zack says, My father, Lincoln. He told me everything about you and your community. Lincoln says, How the hell does he know about me? Zack says, because I know you, Uncle Lincoln. Lincoln looks shocked and says, What? Isaac? How? No. No. Isaac says, Yeah. The last time you saw me, you left to go live your own life with your own family. You always said that you would come back and see us. But you never did, didn't you? Lincoln says, So this whole time... I let you in. You worked with us, and I gave you everything you needed. Why? Why did you do this to me? Isaac says, Because you're a monster, Lincoln. The things you did? Killing innocent people in that city all those years ago? Almost killing your own brother? You're a psychopath! Lincoln says, So you killed my patrols. You killed my people. It was you, wasn't it? Isaac says, part of my job. So yes, I did. Lincoln says, Isaac, we have to work this out. Let me talk to James. Isaac says, we're done talking. You already did that once. And you almost killed my father in the process. Lincoln looks angry and says, the apostles? James? My brother? He's in charge? He's in charge! Isaac says, you will know real soon. It's time for you to meet Bishop. And he puts a bag on Lincoln's head and tells him to start walking. We see Haley and Luke walking through the woods when all of a sudden, we see five apostles with masks light up in front of them. Haley says, go back, go back! 
They try to run the other way, and as they're running through the woods, they are then blocked off again by ten more of them. As Haley says, come on, left side, come on, go! We see them get blocked off once again, and Haley and Luke look around in every direction, but they are surrounded. As the apostles surround them, we see James takes off his mask and says, Drop your weapons. Right now. Haley says, James? James says, Did I stutter when I spoke? Drop your fucking weapons. Both of you. And Haley looks at Luke and says, Just do it. As they drop them, and two apostles put bags on their heads, as James says, party's just getting started. Lincoln gets the bag taken off his head. As we see him, he is tied to a tree. He looks over and sees Haley and Luke are also both tied to trees right next to him. As they all look terrified, we see over 50 apostles are standing in front of them. As Lincoln looks over at Haley and she says, are you okay? Lincoln says, are you? Haley says, I'm fine. And we then see James and Zach walk up to them. And James says to Lincoln, well, here we are again. Lincoln looks terrified and says, we can talk about this. James says, we will talk. There's a lot to go over. Lincoln looks angry and says, I should have killed you when I had the chance. James says, yeah, that probably would have been a smarter decision. You've killed our brothers, Lincoln. You killed our men. Your other man damn near almost killed me last night. We haven't found him yet, but I assure you in enough time we will find them too. And we will teach them a lesson as well. But most importantly, you murdered an entire city of innocent people. And now? Now you're gonna pay for it. Lincoln says, look, we were just defending ourselves back then. We needed to do what we did for our own safety. James laughs and says, <laughs> safety? That was the thing you were focusing on. Lincoln says, those people killed my kids. I wasn't gonna let them get away with that. James says, so? That's what that was? They killed your kids, so you just kill their kids? Lincoln says, what the fuck are you talking about? How the fuck do you know about all that? James says, because I know my brother. I know what you really are. And my son has been behind your walls for a long, long time. I know you have 78 guns in your armory total. I know your rations are decent, pretty good. I know you have about 200 residents based off of the word of mouth. I also know the bishop is not going to appreciate the shit that you've done. He especially. Lincoln says, and where is this bishop? They then see a truck driving up, and James says, I think it's time you met him. As we see the truck drive up to them, as it stops, we see a pair of boots stepping out of the passenger seat. As we pan up, we see it's Ryan, Amelia's husband. He says, James, I see the party started without me. As Haley, Luke, and Lincoln look at him in fear. As we see Lincoln shaking, Bishop walks up to him and says, So you're the great Lincoln West, killer of fathers, mothers, daughters, sons, brothers, sisters, and many more. I am pleased to finally talk face to face. Well, what's left of my face anyway? Haley says, my husband did not do shit to you. Lincoln says, Haley, don't. Bishop says, no, 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 Lincoln, let the wife speak, would you? He smirks and Haley says, we didn't do anything besides take out a threat that needed to be put down. That's all we did. We didn't do anything wrong, Bishop says. You're right. You didn't do anything wrong. Your people didn't ask for this. You were being led by a murdering psycho. It's okay. Sometimes we never know who we're truly following. 
Haley says, Lindsay was a psycho. Her vipers were psychos. We were just defending ourselves. That's all we were doing. Bishop says, wow, that's twice today I agree with her. Lindsay was a psycho. And when that city was up in smoke, I was in the middle of it. I was trying to get out. But every corner I turned, I saw that damn military up and down the streets killing every person that walked up to them. He looks at Luke and says, and I certainly recognize you. He looks at Lincoln and says, I didn't know where to go. So I ran as long as I could until I got caught in the fire and I felt every last bit of it. I thought I was gonna die and I'm still not sure why I didn't. But I'm led to believe God had more plans for me on this earth. So while I was walking through those streets burned to a crisp, I went from building to building, trying to make my way out. And you know what I found? I saw Lindsay's office. I saw the heads. I saw the blood on the floor. And oh, man, the smell. You would not believe. And that's when I knew that I was following a psycho too. So Haley, I understand your pain, especially at being your husband. It must be hard. And I was going to go and try to find Lincoln West that night. But once the military left and the war was over, I walked out into those streets and I heard people still running away. At least, they were trying to. And I thought about maybe just laying down and giving up with the rest of them. But then I heard a mother and her little boy. And they were both badly hurt. They had been burned, so I slowly walked up to them. The kid was dying in his mother's arms. And I stood there as I watched the kid die. After I told the mother I was sorry for her loss, you know what she asked me to do? Kill me, she said. I want to be with my boy. So I pulled out my gun. It had one bullet in it. Ironic, right? And I pointed it towards her. And I asked her if she had any final words. And she said, You find Lincoln West. You make him feel this pain and make sure his family suffers like mine did. And I promised her I would. And I shot her in the head and ended her life. And I went on with that mission, keeping me going for all those years. And here we stand. Lincoln looks sad and broken and says, This is my fault. Haley says, No, it's not. Lincoln, please, I... Lincoln says, it is. You want a confession? I could have stopped it. I had some of my people on the inside protecting the families and making sure they were all right. But when I walked up to that gate, something was triggered in me. And I couldn't wait for one more second. I wanted all of them dead so bad. I didn't care what happened. And if I waited a bit longer, those kids, those families, they would still be here. The point of all this, my people could not have done this without me. It's all me. It's all me. Bishop says, thank you. That's all you had to say. We then see someone walk up to the scene and we see Ashley take off her mask and says, Bishop! Everyone turns around and she says, What the hell is going on? Bishop says, Ash! I told you not to come. Ashley says, Lincoln? Lincoln starts crying and says, Hi sis. I did... Oh my god. How are you? Ashley says, 
It's a long story. James says, You may not want to be here for this. Ashley says, What the hell is going on? Bishop says, The man I've been looking for. I found him. Ashley says, That is my fucking brother. You let him go now. Bishop says, And why would I do that? Your brother here spent a year scoping out his town, with Zack on the front line in there. Ashley freaks out at James and grabs him by the shirt and says, You knew he was alive and you didn't tell me? You were going to wait until now to tell me all this? How the fuck does that make you a brother to him? James says, Our brother is not our brother anymore. He is nothing but a guilty man that will suffer for his actions. Ashley looks pissed and Haley looks at Bishop and says, Please, you don't have to do this. Bishop says, Oh, what? Let him get away with this? He destroyed families. And now, I will destroy his. Haley says, You are a fucking monster. You know that? Bishop says, Am I? It seems to me that we're all monsters if we've made it this far. Haley says, Oh, I will kill you, and I will kill you real slow one day. I fucking promise you that. Lincoln says, Haley, stop. Bishop says, You got a big mouth, Mrs. Wes. Ugh, give me a headache. Haley says, Don't forget what I fucking said to you. You hear me? Don't fucking forget. Bishop laughs and says, <laughs> Okay. James... Kill the woman for me. Lincoln says, No, no, don't you fucking dare. Please, just take me, take me. Bishop says, You will feel the consequences of your actions. Ashley looks sad, but she knows she can't do anything. Lincoln is begging him, Please, no, don't, please, please. Hey, look at her. She doesn't deserve this. Lincoln then says, Hey, Hey, look at me. Look at me. She doesn't deserve this, okay? She didn't do this. I did. I made this mess. I did this myself. You want me to feel this punishment? You want me to understand what this means? You take me. Just me. You hear me? Take me. Please, please fucking take me now. Bishop laughs and says, You want to die? Lincoln says, No. But if there has to be punishment, if someone has to pay, it has to be me. Bishop says, admitting to your wrongs and taking responsibility, well that just warms my heart. I appreciate your request. And he turns around and says, James, kill your brother. Haley says, no, please don't. Please, please don't, please don't. <laughs> Bishop says, the deal has been made, sweetheart. Ashley says, Bishop, please don't fucking do this, please. Bishop smiles at Ashley and she lunges at him and two apostles have to hold Ashley back as she's screaming, let me go, let me go. That's my fucking family, you psycho. Haley is crying and Bishop says, Lincoln, if you have any final words, you better say them now. Lincoln looks at Haley and says, Baby, please listen to me. You're gonna be fine. You have to be. For our boy, for our people, your people, they're all yours now, baby. They are. You're ready to lead them. I know you are. Don't carry this. You have to live for everyone back there. Haley's crying and says, I love you so much. So much. I'm gonna make it right. If that's the last thing I do, I will make it right. Lincoln says, I know you will. I'll always love you. In sickness and in health until death parts us. As we see Ashley saying, Let me go, let me go. 
we see James pulls out a chainsaw and he walks up to Lincoln as he says, close your eyes, brother. And Lincoln looks up at the sky as he hears the sound of Macy saying, are you coming, daddy? Lincoln says, I'm coming, Macy. James then sticks the chainsaw into his stomach and starts pulling it up to Lincoln's head. As he screams out in pain, Haley, Luke, and Ashley all cry as they watch Lincoln die in front of them. As we see Lincoln's blood go onto Haley, Ashley falls to the ground in tears. James takes the chainsaw out of Lincoln's head and says, till we meet again. And Bishop walks up to Haley afterwards and says, now listen to me and listen good. Haley's crying and says, what the fuck do you want? Bishop says, Kingstonville. It seems real nice there. I want it. So it's mine now. You have one week to pack up all your shit Update your people on the news. Throw a funeral for your husband. The hell do I care? But in one week, I will be there to take that place for myself. Now, I'm not sure how possible this is, but you are still his wife after all, so I must emphasize. If you leave, the place is mine. If you try to stay and fight back, I will kill you and the place is mine. Two different roads same destination either way I get what the fuck I want so you go home Haley you have a lot to do he turns to his people and says oh and take the military guy with us as two apostles take Luke and put him in the back of the truck Haley is shaking and Bishop looks at her and says it's a pleasure doing business with you Mrs. West and he and his apostles then walk away. Afterwards, Haley grabs Lincoln's machete off the ground and starts walking back through the woods. She is now all alone. She walks through the field as she drops on her knees and breaks down. We see a deadhead running towards her, and she takes out Lincoln's machete and uses it to slice it through its head. She makes it back to Lincoln's bike that's stashed up on the side of the road and gets on it and starts it up. We see the sun coming up. As we see, Haley looks out into the sky. We see a flashback of Lincoln 15 years ago. Lincoln says, you know what I always do when I'm feeling down? He looks at her, and Lincoln says, Anything good. Something in front of you that's a sign of hope. What do you see? And in the current timeline, she sees a robin flying by, and it lands in the tree in front of her. And she says, <sighs> Lincoln, I hope that was you. as she wipes her tears and drives off into the sunrise.